Welcome to a very special Hi. episode of Football Face Off, Ooh. the show that just won't die. Somehow. Please kill him. Please kill me. <laughs> anyway, today we're talking about 2018. Who's going to win the World Cup? Who's going to win the Champions League? And who is going to be the next hundred million pound player? Ooh, Ooh. title. Ooh. It's Chris versus Joe. The stakes couldn't be lower. <laughs> There's no need for that. Round one though. And it's who is going to win the 2018 World Cup? Who have you gone for? I've gone for five-time winners, Brazil. Oh, safe bet. And you? I've gone for España. Oh, really pushing the boat out, lads. Oh, Who's going first? Who's going to win? Poland? Maybe. Okay, oh, 30 seconds one. each. Mm. You're up first. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Spain have not lost a game since September 2016. They keep getting better and better and not playing easy opposition either. Belgium, they played Italy, England and France in that time. They've scored 49 goals and conceded just eight. Their midfield depth is absurd. Busquets, Iniesta, Silva, Isco, Thiago, Coque, Asensio. Oh, the list goes good. on and on. Le Pettigou, the manager, also managed most of those players when he won the under-21 Euros, which was a massive achievement all the way back in 2011. That same team is still together and they are perennial winners. And that's enough. Mm. Very good timing. Perennial good winners, timing. apart from at the last World Cup and at the last Euros when they had all of those players, still. Good point. Brazil, 30 seconds, yeah? Yeah. Go. Currently ranked number one in the world and good for enough. good reason, they came for the toughest World Cup qualification process out there and like Spain who just beat a bunch of great farmers. Harsh but fair. These boys finished 10 points ahead of Luis Suarez, his Uruguay, Edison Cavani's Uruguay, with two of the hottest strikers in world football at the moment, Neymar, who's already fourth highest top goal scorer for his country, and Gabriel Jesus, Ooh. who Tite entrusted with a number nine position, and look what's happened. Oh, Tite look what happened. That's six enough. goals, and ah! Paulinho, and Paulinho is ah! ooh, ooh. How long does he have? Okay, so that was the end of round one. It was scored loads of goals versus not lost for ages. Brazil, Spain. Yeah, vote in the poll up there. It's that's up there. That's, you yeah. decide, don't you? Well done. That's the mechanism. That's the format. Well remembered. You click that I button. And now it's time for round two, which is who will win the Champions League? Ooh. Who have you gone for? Man City. And you? PSG. <laughs> <laughs> Really mixing it up. <laughs> Round two. Okay, 30 seconds, mate. Okay. Man City, off you go. They have the best coach in the world who has taken them to a new level this season. 19 consecutive wins, 27 games unbeaten. They dominated a UCL group in with Maurizio Sarri's free-flowing Napoli. Everyone was raving about them. Dispatched them 2-1 and 4-2. They've got match winners in there as well. KDB, the best midfielder in the world at the moment. They've got the best wingers in Sterling and Sarni in there as well. The best playmaker in David Silva. The best coach in the world. Didn't mention that. He's won it twice with Barcelona. And that's enough. History. Uh, history in the making. Ooh. Unai Emery. That's harsh. 30 seconds, PSG, go! Do you think it was impressive for Man City to beat Napoli? Well, PSG topped a group with Bayern Munich in it. Uh, they scored 25 goals, conceded just for the best of any Champions League side. They're averaging four goals a game in the Champions League. And we talk about electric front lines. Forget your Sterlings and your Sanes. We're talking Kylian Mbappe, four goals in three Champions League games. Cavani, six goals. Neymar, six goals, three assists. It does not become more electric than that forward line. They because they're going to outscore and uh, that's everyone. enough that's enough wow yes statistics both players had statistics both <laughs> players had lots of names name anything name it name it but whose names did you prefer but up here round oh we're heading to the final round whoa the stakes Oof. What is it? It's who will be the next hundred million pound player. Who have you picked? I've gone for Paolo Di Yes, and you? Harry Kane. Both very famous players. I'm sure you've heard of them at home. Off you go, 30 seconds starting now. Paolo Dybala is actually scoring at a better rate than Harry Kane. I don't believe it either, but it is true. 1.2 goals per game in Serie A this season. Oh, and he's also doubling the amount of chances created, 1.8. Interesting Amazing. statistics. Last season, he was playing as a second striker behind Higuain, and he created even more, 2.3. He's more versatile than Kane. He scores more goals than Kane. This lad is going to be the next superstar. Barcelona are going to need a replacement striker. Real Madrid are going to need a replacement striker. He's also been there and won the trophies. Two Serie A's, two Coppa Italias and a Champions uh, League that's final. that's enough. 
Good timing yet again. But Kane, very put punctual. The pressure on. Very pressure punctual. On. He's never late. Moving on to you now, Chris. Idiot. Harry Kane, 30 seconds, go. Yeah, he scored more goals than Harry Kane at the start of a Serie A season. Classic Tomlinson shooting his bolt early. Let's see where we are at the tail end of the season because Kane finishes strongly. In the last three years in the Premier League, 21, 25, 29, baby. That's three golden boots and things can only get better. Sing it, Bab. Well, clearly that's not happening. Eight goal involvements in six Champions League games as well, showing he can play at the very top level. And that's the end of that. Oh. Also, the second well, fastest yeah, yeah. It's 90 goals in the Premier League after Alan Shearer. So, eight goal involvement. What does that mean, ladies and gents? It means goals and assists combined. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. What an argument. <laughs> Kane scored lots of goals. De Bala scored lots of goals. But who will be worth £100 million? You decide up here, don't you? Kane, De Bala. Money. But football's the real winner. Anyway, what should I do next, mate? Uh, why not watch Mean Tweets next? Basically, we all get abused by you guys at home. Should be a laugh. It's on the screen somewhere around now. Thanks so much. And what do you think they should do? Uh, what were you thanking them for without asking me what you think they should do? Well, I was thanking them for the Mean oh, Tweets. Right, fair enough. Um, maybe head on over to Eurofootball Daily, watch the Christmas special of Stat Wars. Baton Stratton in the Christmas jump pot. What could be more festive than that? Oh. Anyway, bye. See ya.